It was a Dreamliner landing for the record books. This 787 test plane did something that no mid-sized jet has ever done. Well, that's really cool. It, 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 you know, we took off, turned left, and flew around the earth and landed. An around-the-world flight that set records for speed and distance for its weight class. Just two days before... It's like a two-night camp out. Boeing's history-making team of 12 packed its gear and gathered for takeoff, ready to saddle up. Like a thoroughbred horse. We're going to let this airplane run. We're going to put it to the test and go, what can you do if you're unleashed? Okay, got it. They boarded the plane with an eye on weight, a focus on safety, and the goal of testing the plane's state-of-the-art aerodynamic capabilities. It's the most fuel-efficient airplane in its class, almost 20% more fuel-efficient than anything else of this size. On Tuesday, December 6th at 11.02 a.m., the 787 took off from Seattle's Boeing Field. After crossing the Atlantic Ocean, the jet entered European airspace in Spain, went down the Mediterranean, across the Middle East, and over India. It landed in Dhaka, Bangladesh, marking the Dreamliner's distance record, 10,337 nautical miles traveled. The previous record was uh, 9,127 nautical miles, not that anybody's counting. <laughs> this picture shows the brief refueling stop in Bangladesh. Less than two hours after landing there, the team was in the air on the way back to Seattle. Crew members spent their time in a sparse interior, sleeping on the floor. Engineers tested systems as six pilots took turns at the helm. Incredible is how everything was by the plan. The, the fuel burn was so spot on for the duration of flight. On Thursday, December 8th at 5.29 a.m., the Dreamliner landed, securing its second world record, this one for eastbound speed around the world, clocking in at 42 hours and 27 minutes. There was no previous record in this weight class. One, two, three. This team tested the Dreamliner's high-performance capabilities and now has two world records to show for it.